If the EU is to hit its climate goals, we must sell the last fossil fuel car by 2035 at the latest. That will mean all polluting vehicles will be off the road by 2050. To achieve this, most car makers agree that the best solution is battery electric vehicles. They're clean, efficient and becoming cheaper than conventional cars. So why is the fossil fuel industry desperately promoting e-fuels for vehicles? E-fuels, synthetic petrol and diesel, will prolong the life of combustion engines, allowing oil companies to hold on to a big market for fossil fuels and engine makers to continue profiting off a polluting technology. Oil companies, engine parts suppliers and some car makers are using their lobby groups to con policymakers and the public. It's the latest fake green solution. Whether you look at the climate impact or the economics, our research shows e-fuels make no sense for cars and that the only solution for powering cars is electricity. Here's why. In 2030, a petrol car running on e-fuels would use close to five times more energy than a battery electric car. And independent lab tests show that burning synthetic fuels will continue to pump toxic emissions into the air we all breathe. Cars powered by synthetic petrol emit as much poisonous nitrogen oxide as fossil fuel engines. Synthetic fuels are also hugely expensive to produce and so far no one has produced them at scale. On the other hand, over a million battery electric vehicles were sold in Europe alone last year. E-fuels for road transport just do not make sense. This is why some car makers have committed to focusing on battery electric vehicles only. The message to policymakers is clear. Don't be fooled by engine makers and the fossil fuel industry who want to go on supplying polluting technology. Instead, e-fuels should be saved for planes and ships where electric solutions aren't an option. For cars, e-fuels are expensive, inefficient and they will continue to pollute our air.